On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, it's Halloween and we're playing Dress Up. And I get to practice my really bad Mexican impression, amigos. Plus, we hear from a celiac whose tummy rumbles when she gets eaten out. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. It's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, <laughs> Arthur Hill, and my adorable and spooky mother. Oh, oh spooky. I like that one. Oh, spooky. Thank you, Jack. Thank you. <laughs> Say hello, Mum. Hello. Oh, hello, Arthur. Do you, <laughs> I do not sound like that. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart. <laughs> And in this weekly podcast, I get to spend some quality time with mum and receive some much needed advice that only a mother can give. But sometimes my <laughs> mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, Ugh, celebrities. I've, I've never yawned These in the intro. are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. I can't. So I'm, <laughs> so I'm here to help her before this modern world leaves her behind. Yes, you are. You are my lovely boy. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of Why you. Why do you sound like a boy? You sound like you're 80. You sound older than know. you do now. I don't know how to sound like, like a boy. A, a, a EastEnders <clears> character. <throat> and bring her into the digital age. But I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available to all of you as well. So, if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for me to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note to WhatsApp on 07822 013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her in a feature I like to call Mum, Can We Talk. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Excellent. Well, welcome back. It's Halloween. Halloween. Yeah, Halloween. Ooh. Ooh, it's spooky. Spooky. Dookie. We have had a Freaky Friday, and um, have we? I think that's what happens in Freaky. Fr yeah, they switch places, and I am oh, mother, they? and I and mother is me. Yes, indeed. Um, sort of. I think it's a, <laughs> I it's can't a look at her. <laughs> I actually can't look at her. I think um, it's marvellous. Yes, I like being I think you. We've done very well. Yeah. I yeah. think we should stay in character for a week. Oh, I'm not sure See I could do that. See how life changed. I, I do a couple funerals. <laughs> oh, God. You do a couple YouTube videos. Yeah, I'm not sure I could handle that. Music. Really? Somehow. Do the first leg of the tour for me, maybe? I could do that. Mm. No, I couldn't do that. I bet you couldn't. No. I wonder if right. you could. Even sing some most of my lyrics. Oh, definitely not. Okay, we'll do, we'll fact, do a quick fire test. Oh no! If you're me, <laughs> prove it. Okay. Okay, finish the lyric. Oh no! I'm dead in the disco. Broke my back in the limbo. Well done. Okay. Ah. Um. So please don't say I do, unless I'm looking at you. I'll give you. Something blue. Go on, something, Karen. something blue. Right. Wow. Just raise a glass. To the to the past. Past. <laughs> it's the bride and the, the gloom. gloom. Yes. Okay, I'll give you that. that yeah, was actually, I did quite well, I think. Right. That was all right. Yeah, so no. Maybe you are me. I have to say, loving your wig. <laughs> Thank you, Mum. I'm loving yours. Are you? <laughs> I'm not sure which one's worse, the, actually. You look so funny. Do it's I? just the moustache. The moustache. You, like you look moustache? so. You don't look like me. You look like sixties me. Sixties you. Sixties me. Yeah. Oh, okay. Or Bob Ross. Bob Ross the painter. Bob Ross the painter, or like you should be in the Bee Gees, <laughs> or something like that. But I like the tattoos. The tattoos. The are, tattoos are good. Yeah, aren't pretty they? good. They look pretty. Do you Producer think that will make Jack you has... make you get one now? Well, you know that I've always wanted one. I just haven't got around to it. Yeah. So maybe I do like the skull. I've got a skull. Mm. And I've, actually, I don't know what any of the other ones are. I've got a vase with a flower in and an eye. What do they all mean? I've What's the meaning behind them? Absolutely no idea. No, no, no idea whatsoever. Wow. So that's a bit of a shame. I've got your rings on and that freaked yeah. me out a bit because my fingers are much I've fatter yours than yours. On, but my, you've got fits. my lovely and 
engagement ring yeah. on. It looks so cute. But, I, but actually, it's the dress. The dress, yeah. darling. The dress is it's very, airy. It's pretty on pretty you. Pretty comfortable. It's very Even pretty. if I do have it the wrong way around. You have got it on back to front. <laughs> but it's comfortable. I might slip into a dress. More often. When I get home on weeknights. Yeah, you see, you could Relax. do that. Mm. You, yeah. It's a bit weird, though, dressing up as each other for Halloween. I remember the times when we used to, well, actually, I didn't used to dress up, but you did. You were quite a good, you were quite a keen dresser up. Was I? That's very much things. changed now. I really. Yeah. No, you were a good. Always you, leave it to last minute. And... Yeah. You were a good Casper the Friendly Ghost. That mm. was always your favourite one. You had a little white face with the, and, and you just sort of floated about being quite sort of sweet. Oh. I seem to recall. That sounds like me. It does sweet, sound. Sweet, guy. Yeah, quite like you. Yeah. We used to go uh, trick-or-treating in Denham Village with our Shout friends. Shout out Denham. Shout out to Denham Denham Village. Massive. Yeah. Mm, Denham. <laughs> yes. And, um, but, of course, all the houses had been primed. That they, so no, okay. they all knew that we were coming. So you used to get heaps and heaps of sweets. It was ridiculous. But yeah. it was quite fun. It was quite I fun. don't really remember it really well. Don't you? No, I remember looking forward to it a lot. Yeah, you loved it. Um, is it you even a thing it. anymore? Yes. Well, I don't know. I guess, it? well, when, when we move, we don't really get trick. That would be a scary lane to go trick-or-treating yeah, down Yeah, nobody our, comes down our <laughs> lane. <laughs> that, was, that would be far too scary. Your children would be killed by too, cars every year, I too think. Too dark and um, spooky. But I don't remember in our old house people trick-or-treating No, that they much. didn't really come up there either. No. No. And I think that. it's all a bloody American thing anyway. And they yeah, should, Bar humbug. Halloween should go back to where it came from. <gasps> <laughs> now, are you just trying to be me now? Yes. Oh, I, I, I see. Okay. Mm. I don't really get it. Also, this like well, I'm, I've, there's like four Halloween parties that I'm going to go to. I'm not going to get four outfits. No. I'm just not going to go to any of them. Aren't you? No, In I'm actually misery. probably not. Oh. Well, trying should... to be a good, really good boy. Before tour. Before tour. Yes. Well, that's very sensible. And I can't be getting spooky this year. No. And of course, last year we I was the cheerleader with Chris and George, and George nearly died. Oh, was that on his, Halloween? On his line bike. When he yeah, went yeah. off his bike. Lost his eyebrow. R.I.P. <laughs> R.I.P. the eyebrow. R.I.P. the... R.I. R. Yeah. R. R.I. Prow. Wow. R.I. Yeah. Prow. Yeah. Close. Ish. But you have to yeah. be coming up with the jokes this this time because you're me. Oh. All the puns and stuff. Oh, that's not yes. going to work, is it? I'm the clueless. Are you? Bitch. <laughs> <gasps> Arthur. Sorry. That's very rude. I know. I heard a good word on, um, oh, I can't remember his name on TikTok. He's a very posh sounding chap. Oh, this reminds me. This is a big oh. thing, actually. Is it? This is big. Yeah, this is kind of, you know. What we wanted to do with you on the purpose of this podcast. Was it? I went home on Wednesday and I caught you just scrolling on TikTok. Mum was just scrolling oh. on the <laughs> FYP. She's yeah. she's on the For You page. What's she doesn't know what it is, no. but she's on it. <laughs> wasn't Yeah, and it was funny I... seeing like a middle-aged person's TikTok. Was it? Well, sorry. Uh, old, old person's TikTok. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Um, but... Pretty, it, yeah. Oh, it's, it was a weird moment seeing you. Yeah, it's just, getting on my nerves because it's just such a time waster. Yeah. But I do mostly look at things about dogs. Have you got your phone on you, actually? I have. Can well, I see your, there. Oh, I was going to see what the, the TikTok screen it? time is. Yeah. That can't be right. What? One hour, 47 minutes is your daily average. Is that a lot? <laughs> no, that's nothing. <laughs> that's like so insane. I don't even want to look at mine. Um, well, that, what see, a huge waste website. of time that is. Wow. So you're spending... Oh, no. you're, wow, interesting. Oh, no. You're spending 23 know. minutes a day on Instagram. Am I? Yeah. Right. Or is this today? No, hang on. Sorry, yeah. It'll be more today because I've had a train journey. WhatsApp is your biggest, 29 minutes. You're a big communicator. I am. Safari, 26. That's a bit weird. Safari. Oh, I see. What googling things? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just googling things, and TikTok yeah. is third at twenty-five minutes a day. Mum's on the view page, twenty-five minutes a day. Mail is not even close. Fourteen minutes. Come on, Mum. Got to be 
answer it. Phone, nine minutes. Facebook, you're still on Facebook. I do do Facebook when God. I go to bed for some strange reason. Again, How many times did you pick dogs? up, I didn't know this was a thing, pick up your phone a day? What do you mean how much? How many, how many pickups out your pocket? Well, I don't know. What's what? Oh, Have a guess. 50. Oh, 60. Do oh. a shot, do a shot. Oh, don't be so silly, Arthur. I haven't got mine on me, but mine's bad. Well, but it is. Mine's, I think I looked last week and it was six hours, 47 minutes or something. Like an hour a day on Instagram. It's a huge waste. I heard Joanna Lumley being interviewed on the way here on the train. And um, she was saying she doesn't have a mobile. She refuses to have a mobile because it's a huge I, waste I refuse, of time. She refuses refuse to be... I refuse to have a mobile. Um, it, uh, oh, what does she call it? It's not lovely. On call. Yeah, so that anyone can get in touch with her at any time. And she says, how can you live your life if you're constantly reacting to others? How can you be creative? And well, it made me think a bit whilst I oh, sat there wow, that scrolling. Quote, that quote really got me. Oh, how quiet. can you live your life when you're constantly reacting to others? Well, did, she's got a point. Is that, that means what you're, you mean? Well, it means you're not coming up with anything new yourself. You're not being imaginative and... Cerebral, does it? We don't, nothing's constantly... original anymore. It's postmodern society, mum. Oh, be quiet. There hasn't been an original thought in decades. Oh, stop it now. We're all capitalist <sighs> cogs on cogs. the machine of... Cogs? No, we're not. Well, I oh, no, look, of the we word. can't go into that now. No, 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 far too scary. It Even is if it is Halloween. Halloween. And the, all, the, 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 the other exciting thing is, actually, about this particular podcast, is that we're doing it at night. That is true. Our Halloween episode is at night. Yes, because we're so busy. Mm. And, and producer Jack it's got, has got me chicken wine. A Isn't that kind? Block. No, <laughs> because it's got to be a better one I don't than know that. what it is, actually. What actually is it? It's rosé, isn't it not? Well, I know it's rosé, but what kind of grape is it? I've no idea. Oh. It's a pink oh, one. She only has certain types um, of grape. Anyway, it's bloody nice. So thank you to producer Jack. You're welcome. My pal. Um, I'm on the water. You're on the water because you're going on tour. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Is this com when is this coming out? Next week. So I will have a new song. Oh. My new song will be in the charts. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be this at number one. Will just have hit number. We'll be going for number one on Friday. Oh, in two goodness. days' time. Oh my goodness! We'll be in the charts. Oh, how Arthur. exciting! It is very exciting. Ooh. Goodness it is. me! Oh, going to be a pop star. Are you? And then they'll see this podcast and go, no. <laughs> and they'll go, absolutely <laughs> not. He's, not He's a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Be very confusing. No, it's good, Arthur. Mm, get you a guy who can do both. Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So uh, apparently, um, because it's Halloween and we're dressed up as each other, lovely producer Jack, <laughs> he may have plied me with wine, but he has also asked the listeners to send in scenarios that we could role play as each other. Excellent. How kind That's of him. That's great. That's great, isn't it? I'm excited. Are you, Arthur? Yeah. Yes, I've been practicing. Have you your mannerisms? Have you? Well, I think mine are a voice. lot easier, aren't they? No, I'm. You're just not good at. No, I'm not good at doing it. it. I'm definitely not good at you. Anyway, <laughs> we'll see what happens. So, producer Jack, give us an idea. A popular one was, oh. and this will work quite well because you're drinking wine, Lisa. Oh. Is when a kid comes home drunk and they're trying <laughs> so hard to be sober, and a parent oh. that is so over it. Ah. Oh. Yes. Nice. So Lisa, you're drunk. Mm. Arthur, you're Lisa. Okay. Being either not pleased or over it or... Okay. Gotcha. Okay. And... Okay. Action. I'm home, Mum. Hello. I love you. Oh, not again, Arthur. Oh, Mum. You're looking lovely oh, tonight. Sh stop. What time do you call this? Mum. <laughs> what... It's, it's 2 a.m. I know, but I've been to Winkers. Winkers. What, that's early for Winkers. Why are you home so early? Because. Winkers shuts at four. It shuts at four. I don't speak like that. Why are you coming out of the 
Sorry. Um, uh, I came home, Mum. It's a Monday. Will you let me finish? Uh, I came home because I missed you. You're, why are you looking at <laughs> You're going to kill me or something. <laughs> like some kind of, you're some kind of psychopath. You have, you're a failure. You're a failure of a son. And I won't let you drink again. It's, it's a real problem. And I'm ashamed. <laughs> and hey, wake up. Hey, Arthur. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> and, and scene. Wow. scene. And scene. Very God, I didn't good. really get into you there. Beautiful. I lost. Didn't you? I lost touch of who you are. Did you? Okay, let's do one more. Oh, God. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> you look like Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> do I? <laughs> Am I looking a bit Ronaldo? He's not Mexican. He's not Mexican, I know. You but look Mexican. Foreign. You look like So there's one there's one here about um the mum finds out her son's been bunking off from school. Mm. Why don't you do it in Mexican? <laughs> oh, <for laughs> sake. <laughs> and action. <laughs> Where <laughs> You're the you're the mum offer. But I'm still Mexican. Yeah, you're Mexican mum. Yeah, Mexican, Mexican mum and Mexican son. Excellent. A mama. <laughs> Not Italian. <laughs> oh, no, How do Mexicans speak? Arthur, you start off. Uh, you start. I'm trying to speak. Uh, Spanish. Mexican. You do Spanish. A Spanish well. woman. Okay. He is not a Arturo. Where are you been? I been. I get a call from. I got a call from the school. They tell me you're not in school today, and I have to be. You embarrass this family. With Dia de los Muertos coming up. What, but, where have you been, Arturo? I've been uh, on the beach, Mama. <laughs> and I, I, I like to play on the beach with my friends because... <laughs> <laughs> what beach? <laughs> we live in the middle of Mexico. How far do you have to travel for this beach? Oh, it's quite a long way. Who is this beach? It's, ah, you got this me, beach, Mama. Knew, uh, a, you, yeah, down at the some beach. Some bitch is getting out of school. Yeah, huh? they're my beach friends. They're good girls. But we like to play together because that is the only word I can say. <laughs> no, it's not. That's the worst <laughs> word. <laughs> How do Mexicans speak? Why can't I do it? Give me a give me a give me a word or a line. Say like a say. hombre. Hombre. Uh, oh, hermano. Hombre. Who? Hermano. Hermano. Why are you doing like that? The, the, hermano. Hermano. There you go. Okay. Uh, so, mama, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> I was playing with hermano on the... <laughs> <laughs> and then I, and then I was... <laughs> How drunk are you, right? <laughs> Are you drunk? You're underage drinking? Why no, are you underage mama, drinking with your mama, mama? School is so boring. Why you keep... Wh it's so you're... boring. There must be something else in life. <laughs> My husband is not Italian. I don't know why you sound like this. I sound like you. No, I don't. No, do you I. sound like this. It's I different. sound like this. Well, why couldn't we have done it like that in Italian? Because you don't look do Italian. Do I not look Italian? You in look this Mexican. Way? Mexic. I look Mexican. Oh, I like to be in America. Were they American? Uh, were they Mexican? No, they were from... Oh, Puerto Rico. Is that sort of that way? <laughs> the geography <laughs> knowledge. It's, I uh, suppose it's uh, sort of that way, yeah. Well, there you go. So I could do... Um, uh, uh, my friend, Anita, she take me out of school. No, I still sound Italian. Still Italian. I'm really sorry. I can't do <laughs> it. I'm <laughs> so sorry. I'm sorry. I think I should share with you all at this moment in time that I'm not quite myself today. <laughs> oh, well, that's fairly obvious. <laughs> As I've said that. I had, a bit, I had a bit of a procedure. Of course, you did have a procedure. I, I've been up the hospital. And, She's um, gone from English to Mexican. And, I've, and I have, yeah. And, and I've had painkillers and now I've just had chicken wine. Maybe that's why I can't do Mexican. Mm. I don't think you could do it anyway. No, I can't do it anyway. Very good at Italian, though. 
Very mm. good at Italian. We should have picked Italian. Yes. If you looked Italian, it would have been perfect. Yeah. We'll do Italian next week. We'll mm. do, okay. I suppose you Thanks. could. I think it's a moustache. If you were like, you could be an Italian mum, I think, with, if it wasn't for the moustache. Oh, I see. <laughs> with the moustache, like I could be an Italian wife mum. or something. Yeah. And we should move on to yeah, the I nation's favourite game. Oh, hurrah. But English nation, not Mexico. Yeah, good. They hate us now. Yes. Oh, God. Sorry, Mexico. It's a classic game of two lies, two, two lies and a truth. Yes. I'm going to tell you three things. Yes. You must tell me which one is true. Okay, okay, okay. And I'll give you the answer in part two. Yes. Okay. Yes. For the past... Oh. 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 For the past three months, producer Jack has been tricking us. But what has he been doing? Oh, my God. Oh. Uh. He has been purposely leaving in spelling mistakes in the script to make Arthur mess up his words. <laughs> there has been a lot of them. Have there? Mm. Well, I never look at it because I'm He has been hiding a clone or Willy dildo kit in the background of Lisa's camera shot during episodes. You have not. He has been making up the names of anyone who wrote in as anonymous to stop Lisa getting angry. <laughs> oh, my word. Well, that hasn't worked. Well, uh, this is a real revelation. So he's actually done one of those he's three things. He's actually done one of those things. For the past you, three months. Three months. You little That's little... mental. Oh, and I've been so nice about him recently. I know. So hang on, what was the first thing? Spelling mistakes. Spelling mistakes, but... Dildos They've and always been there. Hanging about behind my head. Yeah. And making up, na making up names. In, of anyone who wrote anonymous. I have no idea. Right. Let's talk about it in the break. Yes, let's. See if we can get him. Yeah, and return in part two. Yes. It's mummy's boy. Welcome back. Thanks. Before the break, we were playing Two Lies and the Truth. Here's a reminder of the question. For the past three months, producer Jack has been tricking us, but what has he been doing? A, has been purposefully leaving in spelling mistakes in the script to make Arthur mess up his <laughs> words. He has been hiding a cloner willy dildo kit in the background of Lisa's camera shot. See, he has been making up the names of anyone who wrote in as anonymous to stop Lisa getting angry. Was it last week or the week before? I got really angry about an anonymous one. Mm, but that was... That's so what that's I mean. Only, I don't think it's C. I think... It can't... There's no way. I think he's doing A to cover his tracks for, you know, maybe making a couple errors here oh, and there. He never makes errors. Trust me, he does. Does he? Yeah. I think he's been hiding a cloner willy. What is a cloner willy? It's a Sorry. dildo kit. You, we've discussed it. No, we haven't. It's a, it's a, you can make, you can make, it's like a replica of someone else's in, in your, in your life was willy. Why would you do that? So you can. Bring it out whenever you need it. When you miss them, perhaps. No, we haven't had this discussion. On, on our uh, other audio oh, always that's podcast. that's where I've got it from. Help I Sex and My Boss, there was a story that came in of a clone of Willy kit being used where oh. you, so you can, it's a kit you can make a, basically a replica of your own penis as a, and then like plaster cast it <laughs> and make a, a rubber <laughs> dildo out of the same shape. And there was a story where a, uh, a girl went into her parents' room while they're on holiday and found her mum's dildo. And then oh. used it and then found out it was a replica of her That partners. I do remember. Yeah. That's that was I a do big remember. viral moment on Help I Said My Future, like last year. Oh, dear God. So so yes. there might or might not be clone and willy kits available because we record in the same studio as Help Indeed. <laughs> so what do you think, guys? Okay. I think it's B. You think it's B? Yeah. What do, do you think? You think it's the clone of willy? Well, I'm not allowed to choose the same. You can go B as well. I really hope it's B. I really want there to be one somewhere. Mm. I don't want to know. I don't want to know whose it is. <laughs> I don't want to see it. It's Arthur's. It's mine. No, I definitely don't want to see it. Ooh. That's why you haven't noticed it. It's tiny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's B. Where is it? It's in a box. It's in a box on the shelf behind my head. 
the answer is C. No you way! Absolute. I bastard. have been making up names of not everybody, but m- quite a lot of anonymous people to stop wow. you getting angry. And I, I made them purposefully silly to see if you would guess them. So some of them have been. <laughs> no way! Almond. <laughs> Fanny. <laughs> Bellatrix. I said something about Bellatrix and then I felt really bad because yeah. I'd taken the piss out of her name. Yeah. I didn't do it to everybody, but I've done it to quite you a few of the nasty, yeah. nasty boy. Well, that's a cheeky wording of that, Jack. <laughs> May I say? <laughs> Making up the names of anyone. Not everyone. No. Oh, you Anyone in that, in that sense means the same thing as everyone, doesn't no, it? You no, you can't start okay. splitting hairs with Fine. him now. But there is a dildo behind you today. No, there isn't. I'm not going to turn around. There, there, is. Is. there is a dildo behind <laughs> you. But there's a clone of Willy kit behind which you Which is what threw me off, and I didn't think that's been there the whole time. But there is a clone of Willy. Well, also, there is. <laughs> a big one. Oh, God, and it says that it glows. Who's Willy is it, then? Who's it's, Willy? it's an unused kit. So. Oh, it's unused. Yeah. You better stay like that, thank you. Oh, the things God. people do. God, people are weird. No. Which people brings us to the sponsor weird. of today's podcast. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, Pretty good, hell. actually, Jack. I remember those names. Well, I remember Bellatrix. I remember Fanny. Well, I don't remember I Fanny. Fanny all too well. Thank you, Arthur. Do you remember Almond? I don't remember no. Almond. No. I don't. Almond. Right. Are you ready for some mum can we talk correspondence? Well, I'm Probably not with sure. a bunch of made up now. Oh, for fuck's well, sake. Yeah. Treacle. <laughs> <laughs> you silly I bet man. Someone, it's actually someone real. <laughs> treacle. You are treacle. You right. said that last week yeah. or the week before. Sapling treacle. You all right? Yeah. Sapling girl. You yeah, all right? Yes. All right. All right. Thank you. So are we ready? No. For some correspondence? No. From treacle? No. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Arthur. Hi, Lisa. Hello. Treacle. So, I have a bit of a problem. I have recently started a new job in a hairdresser's. Oh. In the beginning, there was a big team, but now there's just the three of us. Before my last manager... Hey? Before my last manager left, sorry, she oh. warned me about one of the girls. Let's call her Maggie. Let's. I work with and how she lies all the time, and now Maggie has been promoted to salon manager. Word. I was really close friends with Maggie before this change, but now I can't believe a word that comes out of her mouth. She's constantly telling me things like, oh, this person is coming back to work. They never do. And that my boss has been sending her all on expenses paid trips, which is a lie. Worst of all, she keeps holding over my head the idea that if I do anything out of line, she can fire me. Oh I'm not sure how to handle this as I love my job and the location of where I work. And I just now feel like I have no one to talk to at work. Do you have any advice? Thank you so much, Lisa and Arthur. P.S. Arthur, I can't wait to see you on tour in Glasgow and Manchester. Wow. Thank you, Treacle. Treacle. Thank you. <laughs> can't wait to see you either. As she slicks across the floor. Mm. Um, God. So there's now um, there's only three of them. There's three of them. So there's Nasty Maggie, her, and this other girl. Mm. But she doesn't say whether she gets on with the other girl, does she? No, she says she has no one to talk to. Let's assume she doesn't. And that's... Maggie seems like a compulsive liar. Yeah, that's not very nice, is it? That is a weird thing. I think perhaps the only way to deal with that is to just... As she said, I mean, she can't believe a thing she says. No. So she's just going to have to go with that. And... Have a miserable day. <laughs> 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 nice, moving on. No, but I, I actually no, don't know. I don't know I what actually to am say. a bit stumped here as well, if I'm honest. Because that's a bit I think rubbish. You can't really call her out, can you? Because of the power Well, unless imbalance. you can find a really clever way of calling her out. You know, if it's something about, like, the all-expenses-paid mm. trip or something that she mentions, yeah. maybe she can actually really question her about it or something yeah like yeah about dates trip her and up. where and you know mm. try and tri- yeah it is sort of trying to trip her up but or that's not offer very to nice. give her a haircut and then sweeney todd her make her into a pie yeah there you go make that her into a pie it. and make send her into us the a pie, pie and we'll yeah. review it on the podcast nice bit of maggie pie nice 
Yeah. Maggie Pie sounds nice. Maggie Pie. Mm. Mm. Halloween. Ooh. Maggie Pie. Maggie Pie. Magpie. Magpie. Perfect. There you are. Perfect. Oh, we finally we came finally up with some good it. advice. Okay. Excellent. Question two from <laughs> Paul. Paul. Hello and guten tag. Lovely Lisa and dearest Arthur. Guten tag. Ah, okay. It's from Germany. As you can surely tell, I am <laughs> writing to you from the mysterious and peculiar land of Germany. Ah. Oh, my word, there's a lot. Oh, okay, is this is going to test my... <clears throat> oh. So, listen, guys, I desperately need some motherly advice. I'm oh. a bit older than your usual peer group, somewhere in between the both of you. So my own mother is sadly not able to help out anymore. Oh. Don't get me wrong, she's alive and well. She just doesn't care about my love life anymore. Oh. I'm dating a man these days. It's a pretty good match so far. Hanging out, cooking and eating together, watching Netflix and making love. <laughs> Everything is going incredibly well. Good. But after spending a few nights at his place, I discovered something rather odd in his bedroom. Oh. And I have not and that I'd never noticed before. Not in the light of day, not in the sex scented nights we started with. My God. Sex scented. Sex scented. This is very beautiful put. I think this is an erotic novel. I've noticed an empty tin can just resting innocently on his sideboard. One of the bigger ones. Around 800 grams, I'd say. When asked about it, he wouldn't give me a straight answer. Not because we're gay, I think. Instead, he was getting rather <laughs> weird about it. He became shy and tactile. Taciturn. 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 I don't know what that means. I've never heard that. Difficult to read, isn't it? I've been out English by a German. Yes. Eager to change the topic. So a couple of nights ago, once a few glasses of fine German beer had been loosened, had loosened his tongue and shyness. <laughs> it's really well written. I asked again. And to my surprise, he finally gave me a full confession. Oh. He lives in a ground floor apartment that gets pretty cold at night. And since his loo is rather far away from his bedroom, oh. it seems the man of my dreams does not use the bathroom for a nightly leak, but instead pisses in this tiny little can. Only to then leave it on his sideboard overnight and empty it in the morning. He promised never to do that in my presence. But now that I know my serene and peaceful nights at his are over. Oh. Once he falls asleep, it feels like he, that telltale tin is sitting in the corner of his room, staring at me all night long. I can't decide. Is he just a weird but clever pragmatist? Or will I soon meet my maker, chopped, boiled, canned and sold as organic meat at some farmer's market in Berlin? What? Please. Where did you get that from? I don't know. It took an insane turn. It Please, did. Lisa, Arthur, help me. Any excuse, any mistakes I've made. I'm not an English native speaker. I might not even have a tongue anymore. Oh. With all the love from my hopefully untinned heart, Paul. <laughs> Is that, that for might real? Be have you made that favorite, up? It's 100% that might real. be my favorite thing we've had in. So that beautifully written by Paul. outrageously hysterical. How did he go from... This poor man having to wee in a tin, to having himself chopped up and made into he's, a... He's, he's worried that the that his lover is a psychopath. A psychopath. That this yes, is a but sinus. that doesn't make you a psychopath. He's going to need a wee in a tin. He just doesn't want know. to get up and do it in the cold. Mm. I mean, you know, in the old days, people had pots under their beds. It's perfectly normal. Well, it's not the in, the, the, yeah. these, in the old days, but, you know... This so is what it, Paul's asking. I mm. sort of get it. I wouldn't do it personally. No. Um... But, and a tin is a bit strange. Yeah, like he needs tin, to get a proper what, what? sort of chamber pot. If mm. he's going to do it properly, he should sort of pretend he's living back in the medieval days and have a proper chamber pot. And then throw it out onto and the And then throw it out the window onto, onto some the poor passerby mm. as they wander past. Um, but I don't think it makes yeah, him I, a look, psychopath. Paul, I don't think you're going to get killed. No. But if it's putting you off. Well, which it obviously is. And it is a bit weird. You know, especially if there's like someone there with you, you'd yes. sort of just go to the toilet, wouldn't you? Yes. But I wouldn't be worried about getting chopped, boiled, canned and sold as organic meat at some farmer's market in Berlin. <laughs> that would be highly unlikely. But then I don't want to be the reason that you are. So maybe just go. <laughs> oh, God, I, if we hear awful. that on the news yeah. that somebody's been sold mm. at a farmer's market. Mm. Oh, dear. Paul the poet, dead at 30. I wonder how old he is. He said he was mm. older than the norm. I really enjoyed that. That was very good. Very well written. Oh. I hope you live. Paul. Yeah, I hope you live to and write fruitful more. Fruitful life. I will read your novels, Paul, if you write. Yes. Um, don't die. 
Yeah, all right. Don't okay. go on. Question three from <sighs> Anon. Oh, for heaven's sake, couldn't you have made something up? Let's call her or him Marjorie. Marjorie. Marzipan. No, that's yeah. not a name. To Arthur and Lisa, a few years ago, I went out drinking with my friends and met a man at the bar. Oh. I ended up going home with him and one thing led to another mm. and he ended up going down on me. Oh, God. Like most, Must I have to deal with this? <laughs> like most women, I started to think about my food shopping. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> and suddenly I remembered that I hadn't eaten for hours. Sorry. As if on cue, my stomach let out the loudest rumble you've ever heard across the bedroom. And I died of embarrassment. The man, bless him, pretended he didn't hear, but the damage was done. And I went home. Chippy oh. first, though. Oh, Chippy first. Good girl. To this day, that rumble and the silence that followed still haunts me. How am I meant to get over this? P.S. Years later, I found out that it was actually, I was actually celiac. That made my tum so loud. So at least you can be grateful that I didn't shit myself too. Oh, there for we heaven's go. sake. There we go. Oh, dear God. That is ridiculous. Is that a oh, thing then? It, well, actually, I don't want to ask. What, that you think you about think your about shopping? food shopping. <laughs> That wasn't what I was expecting. No, I wasn't expecting that I either. thought she was going to say, I don't know, the washing up or the mm. laundry or whatever, but food shopping. Wow. Um, <laughs> it's highly amusing. How are you oh, meant to I get think... over? I don't think it's that bad. Oh, it's a little all stomach right. rumble. Stomach rumbles, there's nothing you can do a about it. It'd be different if she yawned really loudly, mm. wouldn't it? Yeah. Or sort God, of. That would be awful. Yeah. Yeah, a little would. stomach rumble. Yeah, I don't think you need to worry about You're that. You're fine. Oh, it's funny. Oh, it's funny. And yeah, good job on the chippy on the way home. Yeah. Sort that rumble out oh. like no man ever could. Indeed. Mm. Mm. Thanks, Anon. <laughs> well. Oh, dear, oh, dear. We've come to the end of our... Have we? Halloween. Our Halloween episode. special. You did an awful impression of me at the start. So I'd like to see you give this a go. Come on, get oh, me right. God. I'm not like a, I don't sound like an 80s, 80 year old East Enders yeah, bloke. What do you sound like? You just sound like a bloke. Proper manly bloke. Proper manly bloke. Okay. <clears throat> oh. <laughs> good. It's a good start. Always remember. New episodes. No, I can't do you. Fine, do one doable. you're good at then. Do Mexican. <laughs> do it in Mexican. F off. Always yeah. remember, new episodes drop every Wednesday and Sunday. Oh, I don't sound anything like you. That was you trying to be... I thought that was just you. <laughs> no, I'm much lower. I'm much lower. Always remember, new episodes drop every Wednesday and Sunday. Is that better? No. Sure. And if you're in even and if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you're desperate for my mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message to WhatsApp on 07822-013-837. And no matter what the issue. <laughs> that what is Mexican? Oh what? <coughs> I will ask her. Goodbye. Adios, amigos. Is that Spanish? What do the Mexicans say? <laughs> they speak Spanish, they speak Lisa. Spanish. Oh, yes, yeah, so they do. Adios, amigos. Jose and crew. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Oh. Bye. It's mommy's boy.